for the past six or seven weeks I've gone into a deep silence deep quiet I've still gone about my business working doing my writing engaging with people doing my activities so some might question the word silence because obviously I've opened my mouth to speak and I have heard other people speak and I've listened to music and I've engaged with other activities where there is sound so some might query the silence when I say that however for me the silence the quiet has been about just going within more I'm already someone who lives their life predominantly head-based that's clear from all the activities that I do I do meditate and practice mindfulness but this has been a deeper sense of silence and I'm going to stick with that word silence because for me it has felt like a silence So I focused on the internals more. I don't know about you, but in my life, there were a lot of externals which were taking far, far too much of my energy away. And I felt like I didn't have the time or the opportunity or even perhaps the wish at certain moments just to sit back and think, oh, actually, what are my thoughts in this moment? What's important for me? And I know all the techniques. I practice the techniques. I'm a Buddhist. So what I'm saying here about what I've done is, is not new. So if it is new to you, you know, find out more about it, if there's something of what I say that appeals to you. For me, I've been doing it, I've been a Buddhist for coming up to 25 years now. So, a lot of going into silence, finding myself, listening to myself, uh, getting in touch with my core is completely natural to me, I'm focusing on what I do in situations or what I can do in situations to improve them as opposed to blaming other people or blaming the situation. And in the past six, seven weeks, I have purposely allowed myself, given myself permission or even made requested of myself that I do that more. I've taken time to have a break from social media, both being on it and also accessing it, apart from obviously doing these clips. There was a time I wasn't doing these clips, I was simply walking. But then this feels important to share at the moment. So I took myself away from social media and I'm still not there, back on it. It's been wonderful, a wonderful break. I took time to see how the externals in my life, whether that be situations or people, were affecting me and which ones were taking more energy from me or determining my reactions. You know, sometimes I seem to have been told how I was reacting or how I should react or what the situation was in fact in front of me which we all know comes under the term gaslighting so I took time to react to myself 
rather than reacting to other people. And seeing what in that silence came up for me. It's amazing what you see, isn't it? And I've always been someone who sees a lot more of a situation because I go quiet within and I'm able to ground myself and not feel the need to talk in situations. So doing that more so and making a real effort to do it allowed me to see what was happening and who were micromanaging me. You know, sometimes people think they're helping, but in fact, they're micromanaging your actions. So I took time, and I took time to ground myself, and I still do. And I took time to be reflective on who I am and who I felt I was becoming in terms of the world around me. It's in my world, if you like, and the people and the situations within it, and who I wanted to be going forward. You know, was it time for a change? Was it time for something completely different? And did that change happen within, or did I have to change something externally? So that period of silence has been wonderful. As I say, I've carried it out by going about my usual activities and the sense of silence and quiet has deepened within. I imagine if you speak to anybody in my everyday life, they wouldn't be able to tell you that I've done that. So it's really important to know that Yes, we can take ourselves away from the externals. We can take ourselves off on silent retreats, which I also do. I've delivered them and I've been a participant on them. But we can also take time to ourselves in our own environment if we wish, for whatever reason. And it doesn't have to be as long as I've done mine. I'm still going to continue, I think, for a bit, just until some more answers come. But it's been really interesting to see the change, the change in me, and also a few changes in the externals that obviously I haven't impacted at all. They've just happened without any fuss, without me having to worry, get worked up, or react maybe the way that other people would have liked me to have reacted, if that makes sense makes sense to me and that's the most important thing. I've gained a greater sense of what I want each day, which I would say I have been the type of person who has known that. But I have also, over the past few months and years, allowed that to disappear somewhat, shall we say hasn't always just been me wanting to let it, but I think some situations I've told myself that I've had to. And sometimes we give our power away when we do that. The situations when some people take it away and other times when we give it away. And this period of silence has allowed me to go into myself, go deep, deep, many times during the day, to really consider, to ground myself. And I imagine on the outside I look very boring because I am very much probably in my head at that time. And some people would consider that to be boring as opposed to calm and relaxed. Some people like a reaction in others, don't they? They think you're not engaging because you're sitting there quietly and you're simply not responding to their baiting but if you can see if you can try that silence that deep deep silence noticing who's in your life and maybe what patterns there are what part you play in those patterns and what part other people play it can be very interesting to see those results
It doesn't have to be seven weeks, it doesn't have to be a silent retreat. It could be an hour, it could be half an hour every day, just deep silence, connecting with yourself, seeing how you feel about things. It could be in a particular situation with a, a particular person. It could be anything you want it to be. Enjoy.